Hey there, Leah. Welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general July reading. Any information you need, you can find it within the description box down below. There will be an extended to this reading over on Patreon. Um, so yes, I do uh, extend it for the monthlies and the mid-monthly readings for all 12 signs over there, as well as any other content that I may want to add if I have the time during the month. So um, yes, that is over there. If you guys want to, you can also check out the daily energies on the social media page. Pages. I post different cards on Instagram and uh, Facebook every single day for the daily energies. So if you guys want to like and follow those accounts, it's appreciated. All that information is down below. Okay. So Leo. If I'm speaking too fast for you, you guys can slow the video down in the settings on your playback speed. I do talk pretty fast at times, but um, when I'm focused on the speed of my voice and trying to change the natural speed of my voice, <laughs> it distracts me from the messages. So um, you guys can slow the video down in the settings if it bothers you. Now, I'm not reading in a straight line here, so if the messages don't resonate, you guys can stick around or skip around. You might find something that does resonate with you, okay? This can apply to anything, not just love, so keep that in mind as well. Sure, love may come up, but, you know, uh, we're just reading for whatever we get. Let's actually look on the bottom of the deck here. Our spirit, okay? I got the same overall energy, Leo. I got this for cancer, okay? Um, but they got some different uh, cards out here. So you have a starfish spirit open to infinite possibilities, okay? We have whale spirit, trust the great mystery. And we have fox spirit, think on your feet. Ooh, okay. Okay. What's going on with Starfish Spirit here for Cancer? No, not Cancer. <laughs> What's going on with Starfish Spirit here for Leo, please? What's going on with Starfish Spirit for Leo? Okay. Eight of Wands. Ooh, death. Some of you could have Scorpio in your chart or be involved with one. Um, but there is some kind of information coming through here, especially if you guys have been waiting on something to finalize, like some kind of paperwork or something to finalize. I feel like you're going to be getting some kind of call or message or email about that. We have the Eight of Wands, Mercury, and Sagittarius. So somebody may have that placement. The Death card, Scorpio, and we have Air with the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like there's a new direction that things are going to take off in. Uh, in some kind of situation in your life here. You're really spreading spreading your wings. I also feel like some of you guys, there's something here where you're going to be, um, Leah, what is the word I'm looking for here? It's like if you've, say if you've been building a business or something, there's something where you're going to be diversifying. You're going to be building off of something you're already doing. So for some of you, I am seeing that come through. Others of you, I feel like there's a message that you're sending. Uh, I'm getting you're on your way. So some of you guys, you're on your way to somewhere um, or away from something. You're going to be sending out a message that something has ended or that you're finished with something. This could be a two-week notice for some of you guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to Well Spirit, and I may come back to that. Yeah, I'll definitely come back to that. I'm going to wrap up at the end here. What's going on with Well Spirit? Trust the Great Mystery. These cards are so pretty. I definitely recommend this deck. Um, and, of course, I don't remember the name of it. I think it's Animal Spirit Oracle. What's going on with Trust the Great Mystery? Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Mercury and Virgo. I love this for you guys. Four of Pentacles, Sun and Capricorn, and the Star, Aquarian energy. Wow, you guys. Yeah, I mean, with the Star and the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like for some of you guys, there's something here where you, you could be in the spotlight in some way. This could be you on your way to fame with the Star card here, okay? Uh, and to a lot of money, financial success, financial abundance, okay? But I feel like, obviously, that's not going to resonate with everyone. Not everyone's on their way to something like that. Not everybody even wants something like that. But I feel like that is going to resonate. It's going to hit home with someone, okay? But for others of you, Leo, I feel like there's something here that you've had trouble letting go of with the Four of Pentacles. Some of you, like I said, if you are working on something um, and you're on your way to this financial abundance uh, and being in the spotlight in some way, shape, or form, I feel like it's... Uh, it's coming to you because you've had a period of isolation, because you've um, drawn, withdrawn yourself in a situation to hone in on your skills here and to work on those and to master those, okay? So yes, I do feel like you're getting what you wished for here, but I feel like there's something going on behind the scenes with the Four of Pentacles. There's something going on behind the scenes with the Four of Pentacles. Let me get something out here for Fox Spirit, and then I'll see what the overall energy is, and I can probably get the full message there for that one. 
Two of nine. So something's going on in your environment here. Definitely trust your instincts. Definitely. When the nine of wands shows up, it's like you've been through this before. That's the message I'm getting here. Nine of wands is wounded warrior energy. So this can sometimes be a guard of some, or this can sometimes be a card of someone who is on guard, on defense, just waiting for someone to strike. I feel like there's a reason for that. You have fox spirit. Think on your feet. So I feel like you've been through this before. There's something here where you definitely want to trust your instincts. Go with your gut. You know, the first thing that comes to your mind or the first thing that comes to your gut. I feel like that's something that you're really going to want to pay attention to in the month of July. And I don't always say this because sometimes fear can really cloud our judgment. Uh, we might feel like our intuition is telling us something. Um, but with the, with the Nine of Wands showing up, that is moon in Sagittarius. So it's like whatever is coming into you, whatever you're feeling in your gut, whatever your first instinct is, I feel like that is your intuition. Moon rules your intuition, okay? But just be mindful of, you know fear-based assumptions, um, but I do feel like you you are right in feeling the way that you feel here in the month of July when it comes to somebody around you. This could be a Virgo or a Gemini, maybe somebody who has Venus in Virgo or be a Sagittarius moon. doesn't have to be, but it feels like there could be a manipulative energy in your space here, okay? But I also feel like you are just pulling tricks out left and right when it comes to your stability, okay? When it comes to whatever it is that you're working on. Something that you're just really good at, okay? There's something here that you just do effortlessly and you don't do it like anyone else with the Nine of Pentacles here. Nobody else does it like you. Whatever this is here, Leo, nobody else does it like you. And that's what I'm getting there with the Nine of Pentacles. You are going to be getting a lot of attention for something that you're working on here. Just a lot of recognition overall with the magician. It's like somebody just doesn't know how you do it. Whatever that is there to you guys, it could be a love situation, you know. It could be work or business. It could be some kind of art. Um, it could be anything, you know. But I feel like you are going to be receiving a lot of attention. And even the star card being here, I feel like you're going to be in the spotlight in some way, shape, or form. But they do want you to try. Let me just look at What's up? The sun, okay, being in the spotlight. Literally, this is your energy here, Leah. I also feel like there's a lot of healing that's coming in here. And I feel like there's finality with something, okay? Um, underneath well spirit, it says, trust the great mystery. So it seems like somebody could have withdrawn from you, okay? And... What, what is the what is the phrase that I'm getting here? It's like no answer is an answer. So some of you guys, if somebody has pulled back their energy, they're not messaging you, they're not checking in on you, they're saying that that's an answer. That's all you need to know. Everything is exposed and out in the open with the sun card energy, okay? So it's like you, you need to look no further than what it is that they are not doing is how I feel here, okay? And if something's cut, your, cut themselves out, trust that, okay? Because it's going to bring in this ten of pentacles. It's going to bring this star card energy to life for you as well, okay? So yes, and I do feel feel like I feel like once you pull your energy back and you work on yourself, this Nine of Wands could be that person's energy coming back in here with the Magician because I definitely feel like this is like the final end game for you guys and they're going to see it, okay? This could be somebody that you're really back and forth with or who is very back and forth with you and you finally decide to end that and focus on your pinnacles or just focus on you in general and, you know, getting, you know, your life together, right? So that's what I'm seeing here for you guys. And again, you see clearly now is what this is saying here. So yeah, underneath that we have Rhino Spirit, Overcome Every Obstacle. So yes. Leo. I feel like you're just cutting something out here. Porcupine spirit underneath that. Time for beginner mind. Yeah, you're just on to the next, on to the new. And that's what I'm seeing here for you guys. Um, this could, of course, turn around on Patreon. I am going to be clarifying the cards over there if you guys want to check it out. Uh, you could also watch out for your other signs here on YouTube as well. But if this is where we part, I want to thank you so much for watching and supporting me. And you all enjoy the rest of your month. Bye.